Hey guys, Jad here, and this video is going to be me showing the filming locations for A Christmas Carol from 1984, starring George C. Scott. Um, and I'd like to give a shout out to a YouTuber, Kermit's Ghost, because I've mentioned to him before that I live kind of near to where they filmed this film, and he's suggested to me before that I should do a location video showing the locations where they filmed it, so this is for you bro. Um, as you can tell by his name, Kermit's Ghost, he's a big fan of the Muppets, and I know he's also a big fan of um, Michael Caine, so obviously his favourite version is the Muppet Christmas Carol, which that, that is another great version as well, but the George C. Scott version is another one that I do really like. And uh, you know, I know um, Alan Kermit's Ghost, his favourite book of all time is A Christmas Carol, so I'm sure you know, he'll really like to see this. So yeah, shout out to you, Alan, and thanks for suggesting this video. So this bit was at the very first scene in the movie. This was uh, where there was a market place in the film. I just saw there was a pigeon there. I've been recording that. And I saw here that they were advertising that they're doing a screening of the film, which is pretty cool. Uh, that's pretty nice. So here's the graveyard that they used for the film. Um, this is where Scrooge found his gravestone when he found out he died. And here's the gravestone. You know, it's not real because, of course, Scrooge wasn't a real person. But, yeah, they made this gravestone for the movie and they've left it there, which is pretty nice. So this here was used as Scrooge's nephew Fred's house in the film. What's the answer to this? His title is a duck drum. A title is Scrooge. Scrooge's oh, yeah. first strings, yes. <laughs> or drum is the right answer, yeah. But, uh, yeah. So this here is actually Scrooge's house. And uh, when you see the windows, the one on the right is the one that he looked out of where he was like, you boy, what day is it? So yeah. The guy who lives here actually let us come in. Now this hall actually was used in the movie, I believe. No, I think not all of the inside shots in the movie of his house were actually filmed in the house. They they probably used like sets or something for most of the inside shots. But this hall here actually was used in the movie. Now this is a hotel that Charles Dickens actually stayed in. And apparently he supposedly wrote... A Christmas Carol while he was staying there. Now this building here is where they filmed Fezziwig's place and then here on the wall there's these pictures are of the Fezziwig scenes in the movie so yeah, you can get a good look at them. And there's some writing on them if you want to read that. And as you can see now, this place is now a place where they make cider, so it's pretty interesting. Now, this is where they filmed the scene with Liz Smith, where, you know, they were selling all of Scrooge's stuff. Now, fun fact, Liz Smith actually played the exact same role in the Patrick Stewart version of A Christmas Carol as well. Now, this is a building that they used for the film. Uh, in the film, they had, like, carolers singing outside and also had, like, children, like, ice skating outside of this building. And, yeah, it just looks really nice, really. And here's a sign uh, for the building. So this here is Scrooge's office. Um, now it's called, like, Peach's House, as it says there. And apparently it's a place for arts and crafts stuff which uh, I think is pretty cool that they have that. So these are the stairs that Tiny Tim stood on when he was waiting for his dad to come out from his job, and, you know, Scrooge came out and saw Tiny Tim standing there. Uh, yeah. So this hotel is where most of the cast stayed while they were making the film. And my mum actually told me that her and my dad have stayed in that hotel before, so that was pretty cool to hear. And so this is actually the Cratchit's house. Now, only the exterior, though, because as you can see, uh, the house is probably too small to actually film in, but yeah, the exterior shots were here. Another thing I should point out is that these were only the locations they showed on this tour, which are the locations that are in the town. There is an, there's also a park that I, I've often been to where they also filmed some scenes. There's like a bridge where they filmed the scene with uh, Scrooge and Belle. 
So maybe like as an additional video, I might um, go there and film that if you want to see that. So yeah, I've come back now. I really enjoyed that. So yeah, we had a tour guide there who was showing us all around. And uh, the guy said that, the guy who was doing the tour, he said that he went to school with the guy who played Tiny Tim in the movie. And also the, the guy who played Tiny Tim actually still lives in the town today, which is pretty cool. Um, and also there was another building um, that I didn't show. I said there was a hotel that apparently Charles Dickens stayed in there. But there was another building that's um, a museum now. But that building was actually where uh, Dickens did a reading of A Christmas Carol. And it's believed that that was the first official reading of the book. So I think that's very cool. So yeah, the guide said that apparently they like went to his school to pick out somebody who could, a boy who could play Tiny Tim. And when they got to the guy who, who was the tour guide, they told him that he was too fat to play Tiny Tim. But yeah. Um, so yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed visiting these locations. I really enjoyed doing this. And yeah, thanks everyone for watching and bye.